Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is the newest movie that is coming to the big screen for you all to watch. Amazon Prime had an exclusive advanced screening for people who are Amazon Prime members. And I was fortunate enough to go and see it thanks to a subscriber, RJ. Massive shout out to him. He messaged me and told me about this event going on. I was able to snatch up some tickets. So huge, huge shout out to that guy. Absolute lifesaver. So I've seen it. I'll tell you guys my thoughts on it. Let's talk Dungeons and Dragons right now. Okay, so Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Look, I've been seeing this trailer around literally everywhere I go. And it looked fun. It looked entertaining and it looked funny. And I was like, you know what? This, this could be one of those movies that could be a pleasant surprise or an absolute disaster of a film. Now, I don't play Dungeons and Dragons. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons. I know a bit about Dungeons and Dragons, but I know it's huge. I know a lot of people play this role-playing game. I just haven't ever dabbled in it. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I'm just super stoked for those fans of Dungeons and Dragons that they're finally getting a movie on the big screen for them to go and support and watch. And look, after seeing this movie, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is not going to be the best movie out there, but I'll tell you what, it is probably the most entertaining movie out there that is coming to the big screen. Holy moly was this entertaining. I was flabbergasted at how much fun and how much entertainment value that I got out of this movie. Oh my word, it's just, it's sensational. For a movie where you're sitting there like, okay, Dungeons and Dragons is a role-playing game. How do you make a movie out of it? And there's literally endless possibilities. And after seeing this movie, I now want to see more Dungeons & Dragons movies. Because, like, like I said, endless possibilities of stories that you could tell. Now, when it came to Honor Among Thieves, there was a lot more to this movie than what meets the eye. What you see in the trailer is just a shell of what this movie actually is. It has so much heart. It had more heart than I actually anticipated that it was going to have. There is a storyline going on about families being torn apart, fathers leaving to try and get a loved one back. Like there's these all different storylines going on and then the realization of what you actually lost in the process trying to pursue this. And there's this beautiful moment at the end where it comes around full circle and it works so well. And each character had their own character arc. So our main cast that we follow, our main heroes, they all have their own little arcs that intertwine with each other and come full circle and worked really, really well. And I thought that was just something that I was not expecting coming into this movie that actually shone through and really focused on those themes and those storylines and those arcs a lot more, which I, I must say, I'm absolutely stoked for. Now, when you get down to what this movie really is about, it's obviously a, it's very similar to a heist film in a way, but with a lot of action. And man, the action is absolutely awesome. I love the action. There are so many great fight sequences. I thought the way they were shot were fantastic. And what they did so well is they threw in the comedic element as well. They didn't just, it wasn't all serious, but when it needed to be serious, it was serious. But when it needed that comedy relief it gave you that comedy relief and I thought all the jokes landed quite well and just the delivery of the lines worked and it's the characters themselves that the different personalities clashing with each other is absolutely fantastic and now there's two particular characters there's Chris Pine's character and he meets another character that I'm not going to spoil in this movie that is like you know the scene in The Suicide Squad with John Cena and Idris Elba? It's very similar to that. It's like, I can do everything you do, but better. It felt, it felt like that vibe, and they were just fantastic coming off each other, bouncing from each other, left, right, and center. It just, it worked so well. I thought it was fantastic. Chris Pine is awesome in this movie. He is just absolutely fantastic. I loved his character. I loved his performance. Michelle Rodriguez is absolutely fantastic as well. She just... She's the brilliant counter to him, and I love her brutal honesty. Her character is just brutally honest, and it's hilarious. I love it. 
Jaden Smith is absolutely fantastic as well as the as the uh, sorcerer. He is funny. He's great. He's quirky, and he's just perfect. A perfect contrast to everyone else. And then the shape shifter. She is fantastic as well. And I didn't actually think I was going to like her that much. But as the story progressed, I actually started to really grow for her character. And she was fantastic. And her transformations are cool. They're absolutely sick. Hugh Grant is just Hugh Grant. He's just absolutely fantastic as well. I, I loved him as well. I thought he was great. The villain of the movie has a motive. And it's cool and all. And they don't dive too much into them. Which is a bit of a bummer. Which I would like to know more about the lore. When it, came, when it comes to that character. And comes to that sort of faction. I would love to understand a bit more. And go back in depth. And give us a bit more backstory to them. But it's fine. I don't think it quite needed it to. But it would have been just that extra bit of elevation. Now... The visual effects and the practical effects are absolutely incredible. I love the designs of the creatures. I thought they looked absolutely fantastic. That final, there's so many great final shots when it comes to cinematography of like these wide pan shots. Absolutely gorgeous, man. It looked fantastic. And the cinematography in this movie is fantastic. It really is. It just, it's stunning. There's this beautiful shot. Uh, towards the end where they're on a boat and you just see it and it's just it looked incredible the set designs were absolutely fantastic it really transported me to a dungeons and dragons world i did not feel like i was in the real world i felt like i was in a fantasy land so when you have that transition and you're trying to get the audience to be invested in the world building that you are creating it did make me invest it did transport me to that world now I want to see more of the world. I want to explore more. There's so many layers to this world that can be explored that I really want to know more. And I just, I think everyone is going to be entertained by this. This is a great entertainment film. It is just, oh man, I can't believe how much fun I had with this movie. I was just, is it flawless? No, it does have its flaws. There are some moments where you kind of like, uh, that doesn't really make sense. But again, it's a fantasy land. So you kind of got to suspend belief for certain things. Like there's people falling from different heights and stuff like that. That you're kind of like, mm, would they survive that? Would this happen? But overall, you got to take that with a grain of salt. Because we are in a fantasy land. Like this isn't real life. And I thought they did a great job of portraying that world. And making you go, oh, okay, I can see them surviving that. But overall, man, Dungeons and Dragons... Honor Among Thieves, I never thought I would enjoy this movie this much, but I absolutely had a ball with it, and man, I can't wait for you guys to all see it, I cannot wait, I think you guys are going to have a ball with it, and I think this is going to do really well, I think it's going to get good reviews, I think it's going to do very well in the box office, and I wouldn't mind seeing more come from this, and I hope more comes from this, so let me know your thoughts, if you have seen it, smash it down there, smash that like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video, until then, stay safe, and peace out.